I thought I'd make a quick video about the polymer used to make the Fjallraven Kanken bag. So the material used to make the bag is known as Vinylon F, which in chemical terms is the polymer polyvinyl alcohol. And there's the monomer for that polymer. This is vinyl alcohol. And the polymer would obviously be this with this double bond opened up like that and just more of these adding at either side. So we'd have a, another one there and another molecule here and so on. So all I'm going to do is go back to the very beginning of the process and talk about how we get from the starting materials, which you can actually see on the board now, to the polyvinyl alcohol. And some of the chemistry involved is actually on the specification and some of the applications could well be tested, as I said at the start of the video. So we've got two starting materials. We've got acetylene, which is the old name for ethine. This is an alkyne with a triple bond between the two carbons. And we've got acetic acid. And again, that's an old name for something you're more familiar with, ethanoic acid. So the first part of the process is we need to combine these two molecules together to make something known as vinyl acetate. And that's done by reacting these two molecules together in the presence of a catalyst to form this molecule here. So this is vinyl acetate. So hopefully you can see the acetate group is here so it looks like we've just pulled that hydrogen off there there's that group here and that hydrogen must have gone where this triple bond has opened up so we've got the hydrogen on there let's put that bond back in there now in terms of mechanisms it's probably far more complicated than this but for the purpose of the video that'll do so there's the vinyl acetate once the vinyl acetate's been produced, it needs to be polymerized. So you can see the carbon-carbon double bond here. So that needs to open up so we can start joining these molecules together by addition polymerization. So I've joined those two monomers together and I've formed this part of the polymer chain. So there are two repeat units here. So there, that's where the double bond was. And so this bit I'm holding here is the bond on this side that could accept another one of those monomers once its double bond's opened up. And on this side here, this is the other double bond here from the other molecule. And there's a gap there, so obviously another monomer could come in at that side and start to form this long chain. So now they've made polyvinyl acetate. So there's the molly model of polyvinyl acetate, the repeat unit, and there's the um, displayed formula for that. What they need to do now is turn it into polyvinyl alcohol. And the way they do that is they react it with ethanol and they break this ester bond here. So I'll just demonstrate that now with the Molly model kit. So we're going to need to break this bond here. So I'll do that. And we're going to put an H on there. Like so. And we'll join the rest of the two parts together and have a look at what we've made. So what we've got there is this is the polyvinyl alcohol. Remember, this is just the repeat unit. So there'll be another one of these to the left and there'll be another one of those coming on to the right and so on. So a very long chain molecule. So this is the polyvinyl alcohol and you can see here we've also made the ester. So which ester is this? It is ethyl ethanoate. So we'll just quickly run through those steps now and end up with a complete flow chart of the whole process. So the first part is to take ethine, or acetylene, it's all name, and ethanoic acid, or acetic acid, and combine them. And that produces vinyl acetate. 
The vinyl acetate is then polymerized by addition polymerization to produce polyvinyl acetate. And then the polyvinyl acetate is then reacted with ethanol. The ester bond is broken and we get polyvinyl alcohol and the ester ethyl ethanoate. And when I was looking up the process involved in the production of this fabric for the rucksack, I immediately thought that the polyvinyl alcohol was simply produced from its monomer, vinyl alcohol, but apparently that's not the case because the vinyl alcohol is unstable. And so they have to go through this process to end up with the polyvinyl alcohol to make the fibre from. 